Welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into a topic that a lot of us struggle with – the reality versus expectations at the gym. You've probably seen those flashy before and after photos and heard about miracle workouts that promise incredible results in no time. But how much of this is actually true? Stick around as we debunk some of these myths and set the record straight on what you can really expect from your gym sessions. One of the most common unrealistic expectations is the belief in rapid body transformations. Advertisements often showcase dramatic before and after photos, suggesting that such changes can occur within a few weeks or months. However, in reality, sustainable physical transformation is a gradual process. According to health experts, safe and sustainable weight loss is typically around 1 to 2 pounds per week. Anything more than this can be unhealthy and hard to maintain in the long term. Another area of misconception is the development of muscle strength and size. While it's true that regular weight training can lead to increased muscle mass and strength, the rate and extent of this growth varies significantly among individuals. Factors such as genetics, age, gender and nutrition play a crucial role. Expecting to achieve the same level of muscularity as professional bodybuilders or fitness models is often unrealistic for the average gym-goer. People often overestimate the number of calories burnt during a workout. While exercise does burn calories, the exact amount depends on various factors, including the intensity of the workout, the individual's weight and their metabolism. This overestimation can lead to a false sense of security regarding diet, with many believing they can eat significantly more because they have exercised, potentially leading to weight gain rather than loss. The importance of diet in achieving fitness goals is frequently underestimated. No amount of exercise can compensate for poor dietary habits. A balanced diet, appropriate in calories and nutrients, is essential for weight loss and muscle building. It's often said that fitness is achieved 70% in the kitchen and 30% in the gym. Rest and recovery are as crucial as the workout itself. Many people, especially those new to the gym, might think that more is better and end up overtraining. Overtraining can lead to injuries, burnout and diminished results. The body needs time to repair and strengthen itself between workouts. Setting unrealistic timeframes for achieving fitness goals is another common mistake. Fitness is a journey, not a destination. It requires consistent effort over a long period. Short-term goals are essential, but they should be realistic and achievable. And that wraps up our talk on the common unrealistic expectations from the gym. Remember, fitness is a personal journey, and it's all about finding what works for you. Don't get discouraged by the hype and always keep it real with your goals. Got any gym experiences or tips you'd like to share? Drop them in the comments below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more. Until next time!